because let me bring uh, Dr. Pedro Obaseki into the conversation, who tonight will be speaking on behalf of Mr. Atiku Abubakar, who is the presidential candidate of the PDP. And you heard a lot. And he says, look, as far as Konkunto is concerned, he ranks higher than an Atiku Abubakar, and the chances are higher. Should they have a Peter will be alliance? Is it a danger for your, uh, the, the chances of your candidate, Atiku Abubakar, and the PDP? Mm. I wish I, I wish I would have been allowed to respond to some of the things that were said earlier by the uh, other two, but it's okay. Um, there is nothing on earth that stops anybody from having an overbloated sense of self. That is okay. You know, election, sectional elections, elections in Kano State does not dovetail into elections in Nigeria. There is no hamlet, no village, no state, no local government, the 774 local governments in Nigeria where Atiku is not a household name. Atiku is a brand, and the brand essence of Atiku does not compare to the sectional, regional, similarly state-based popularity of al Haji Rabi Konkonso. I respect him, I respect this kind of person, but um, uh, it's like comparing uh, apples and beans. They, they, don't, they, don't, they don't stand on the same pedestal. So I don't want to even go down to playing that ostrich card. There's no basis for comparison. I'm very sure that nobody in Ilwe Lobo, and I'm very sure that nobody in my village, in Benin, or in Okada, or somewhere in Iragbeji, knows who Konkonso is. But the very brand essence of product article, it, you know, it, it straddles the entire Nigerian value chain. That is why many of us refer to him as the unifier. Atiku is Yoruba as much to the same extent as Igbo, as much as it is to the same extent as is is nothing. And that is clear. It's, it's, it's an empirical fact. We don't have to start dovetailing into trying to compare both of them. I think what uh, the honorable gentleman just said is just to try as much as possible to boost, to add some form of uh, jet fuel to the Konkwansu brand persona. And I don't think that they are, if you look at it empirically on Twitter, for example, which is the upwardly mobile, the, those of us who are upwardly mobile. It is a gauge of popularity of who follows who, who follows where, who knows what. Atiko has uh, yesterday had about 4.3 million followers on Twitter, making him the most followed Nigerian politician in much, about 200,000 more than Mr. President. So, Kokonzo is still about, even, even Mr. Peter Obi is about 1.3 million now, rising fast, but the, I mean, it's, it's, the difference is like night and daylight. I would have loved to actually quickly throw in. I don't know. I don't want to uh, push um, uh, you. Show you know at the beginning, the opening trajectory was Mr. Tinubu saying he's still looking for his running mate, and I begin to wonder whether our politicians ever read the Electoral Act. The two of them who have just spoken actually sat down and legislated an Electoral Act that took away their own voting rights. I'm not very sure they all read it. In section 31 and 34, it's clear of how and who, when and why, anybody who is involved in this process. So if you already have a running mate submitted to INEC, and you are coming weeks after to still say you, do, you are still searching for a running mate, it's like a kid that missed the bus. And that shows clearly a typical thing about the APC, a party that is actually fighting each line, each, each time for the jugular, for power, without thinking about the mechanics of governance. Now you have seen them, they are not ready. We don't even know what their manifesto is. We don't know what they are about. They don't even know who or who is running on a ticket they had already submitted. And I don't think anything is much more um, asymptomatic of lack of preparedness. And that is what the problem is. And Mr. Honorable Aminu said at the beginning that, um, <laughs> let me quote him, is, is, is the Muslim in Nigeria, the northern Muslim, better today on that Buhari? And he answered himself, no. There is no greater indictment on the failure, on the monumental seismic failure of the APC government, as we said. So we are getting new words in the Nigerian political lexicon. Placeholder, next one, space holder. The next one, maybe we go here, grave digger. I mean, this should stop. There must be some level of seriousness in this matrix of governance. And I think the APC has shown that it is not ready. The NNPP, I don't want to join issues because it's just a party based on pieces of paper. And the, there is a clear product differentiation now between PDP that got us somewhere where the APC told us was a lie, and then today, the APC taking Nigeria a million years backwards, we are much more ethnic based than uh, we have ever been uh, in our history. Dr. Obaseki, Sir. I'll come to you back, I'll come back to you just in a moment. I'm not going to ask any question. I'll just allow you to respond because I know you've heard a lot and you like to respond too. Uh, you know, I'm from, I'm from the Midwest part of Nigeria and we are used to being marginalized. I understand that they won't even let us talk, but I will just want to hit him straight. Honorable Jibril, the peace of the Lord be with you, but you are, you are changing facts. 
outside of Buhari in 2011 election, in 20, 2007 election, no other person who did not win the presidency of Nigeria got up to nearly 12 million votes. Mr. Kokonso has never had anything above 2 million votes. So this is, I'm talking arithmetic. I'm not talking about who we are red cap, who no we are red cap. Electoral value, it is clear. Now let me go back to my friend, my dear good friend uh, from uh, Jigawa, from Brunukudu. Now this is another very clear case of the APC trying to upturn the apple cart. We are Muslims and Christians in this country. And you are talking about equity, fair play, justice. It, from all you guys are just talking about, I don't want to just, I don't want to be on air. It just shows a mark, almost endemic lack of preparedness. And the fact that people are beginning to see that Nigeria is not a nation that we should allow to do it down. I remember the old anthem, Nigeria we hail thee. He said, though tribes and tongues may differ, in brotherhood we stand. And when I look at all of them, the plethora of candidates, the only one that meets that very cardinal, in brotherhood we stand in our diversity, is the Waziri Adamawa al Haji Atiko Ubaka. And let's not, let's look at it. If I want anybody, a Benin man will not be president at the same time a Yoruba man will be president. So when I look at it, who best represents this nation, a nation that needs a leader, not share leaders, a nation that needs someone with a plan. And I look at the article manifesto, I'm cool with it. Not stopping there, a nation that needs someone who his father, his mother, his family, his children all touch every aspect of this country.